Hello and welcome to Chapter 3. Today we'll dive into EasyClick Pro. We'll see who are the ideal Pro users, how to set up your profile, and how to get the most out of the program. Let's go. To get started with Pro, simply switch over from Beginner or select Pro from the open menu. Since Pro is designed for independent, developed users who access the world via iGaze, this version opens directly to the computer home screen with an iGaze toolbar available at the top of the screen. So one can begin using iGaze right away. You'll be able to use iGaze to access your whole computer as well as the settings within EasyClick. Before we get into the details of using independent iGaze, let's set up a profile and settings. This should be done when setting up a user for the first time and once done, can usually be left alone. Choose and name your profile and select your preferred click mode and speed. For dwell, many users start around one second dwell time. But don't be afraid to try out different speeds as you go. Let's calibrate now to get the most accurate eye gaze experience. As in beginner mode, you can use the avatar or video feed for positioning, and there are different numbers of points available. The more points in the calibration, the longer the calibration will take, but it should provide more accurate results. Let's go with the standard of five points. Let's see the rest of the calibration settings in Customize. Change the speed, size, and color of your calibration here. Other settings available include control mode and smoothing. Under feedback, you'll find settings for the cursor, activation, and sound. Within the desktop bar, you'll be able to personalize the color, size, and transparency. And from this page, you can find the guide and controls to the icons on the same toolbar, as well as the option to show or hide them on your toolbar. Let's check them out. From this toolbar, a user can access the full power of their device. The first icon repositions the toolbar to keep it out of your way. Then we have click, right click, and double click. You'll need to select one of those to use the mouse. Zoom to click gives an extra layer of control by zooming in on each click point. Scroll lets you move up and down a web page, and drag and drop helps move items around on a page. Keep Click Alive is a great way to perform multiple clicks without returning each time to the toolbar. Our mouse movement icon simply shows a cursor so the user can see where they are looking. And finally, the keyboard opens to type in whatever you need to search for. The next icon is used for a quick recalibration. If you find the accuracy to be off or your position has changed a lot, recalibrate with only one click. And of course, you can return to access any settings via iGaze using the settings key. Combining all these functionalities, a user is able to create a full experience on a device using iGaze. So far, we've seen how to set up EasyClick Beginner and Pro, who each version is perfect for, and which functions to use in each. Next time, we'll see some special features and how to correct when things go wrong. <laughs>